What's up, guys? We are at another trailhead. Uh, where are we at, Dylan? Uh, we're at where Eagles Dare. Okay. We just came off a golden spike. Yep, so we did. We, uh, where'd we start? We started way down here. Yeah, we ran. Snake all the way up. Came in through here. And that's where we're at right there. So uh, we're going to run down through where Eagles Dare. For me, that's new for Dylan. It's also new for myself as well. We have no idea what to expect. No. Uh, yeah. Seven out of ten, so... Should be fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So we are going to throw some gear on and uh, we're going to go wander down. Now we are going to hit, uh, check it out, we are going to hit most of where Eagles Dare, all of this stuff, and then reconnect with Golden Spike and then bring Golden Spike back to the Poison Spider Mesa. And then that's probably where we will end that video at. And then I think after this we're going to... Uh, we're going to go back to the truck yep. and head over to... Chicken's Corners. Chicken's Corners. Yep, and then we're going to do Chicken's Corners. It should be uh, towards when the sun is starting to drop and stuff, so it should make for some epic drone shots and all that. So uh, either which way, guys, this is the second video of our Moab trip. We are where eagles, where eagles dare. We're going to get some gear on and uh, let's go make some miles. Yeah, said I gotta keep my shades on. Cause my future's so bright. Got me watching my step like I'm walking on ice. It's a slippery slope. Yeah, this thing called life. And I might take a detour, but I ain't falling off twice. This is my time. And it's only the beginning. Try to take it back. Damn, but nobody knew this. And it was too late. And I'm sorry you had to wait. But whether you like it or not, I'm doing it anyway. I'm a race sword and ready to take on anything that's in my way. I'll be hitting it face forward. Cause I ain't really scared of what is in the future I'm just tryna have a good time, headed to it Watch it how I do it, without a problem Staying in my own lane, don't wanna follow I'ma do my own thing, ain't never stopping And I don't care what they say, it doesn't bother me I think it's funny when they say it's make believe Then I turn around and show them I achieved it yeah, I can't afford to pay attention cause you see All my money is invested in my dreams So I gotta keep my shades on Cause my future's so bright Got me watching my step like I'm walking on ice It's a slippery slope, yeah this thing called life And I might take a detour but I ain't falling off twice This is my time and it's only the beginning Try to tell you back then but nobody would listen I was too late and I'm sorry you had to wait But whether you like it or not I'm doing it anyway Yeah I tried to tell you back then way before it popped off Everybody hated me, but now they wanna talk more Every time I see them out in public, they got locked jaw Used to be nothing, now I'm an independent rock star So I can see why they wanna be right beside me But I just be lying and hit them with the peace sign it. Cause I got one life and I just wanna live mine I did it by myself, so I won't never need your cosigns And yeah, it's no time, I feel it in my soul I can see that finish line before I even hit the road, yeah And I ain't got the time to wait in line and take it slow Cause I'm headed for the stars, so I know that I in my time and it's only the beginning try to tell you back then but nobody would listen now it's too late and i'm sorry you had to wait but whether you like it or not i'm doing it anyway okay if you make it <laughs>
will say this, one of the only downsides about the Pro R, um, especially in terrain like this, is um, the ability to be able to see um, over the nose of these things, especially when you put harnesses and stuff on. Uh, ooh, ooh. All right. All right. Yeah, especially when you put harnesses and stuff on, it is hard to see over the nose of these things. because uh, it gives me the ability to figure out where in the frig I'm going. Ooh. And on that shifter, in case you gotta go backwards. You'll be alright. I just had a just, uh, small bump through it and it'll walk right up at <laughs> It's that mental game, guys, it really is. It's if you realize the machine will stick, it's amazing where they'll go. Yeah. We, were, we were in Wisconsin no less than two days ago. And here we are. Two days ago. Up in it. Yeah, Dylan's gonna be a bad influence because he didn't think twice about going up that hill, just up the way he went. Well, that's what we came here for, dude. <laughs> Look at him, f hard ass over there. <laughs> we got shit to do. We got shit to do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna go back down to the map, figure out the other loops of uh, Eagles, where Eagles Dare, and then we're gonna start bombing down Golden Spike back to the truck and on to the next one. So we'll go to the map, go from there. Now, I did take a picture. Um, I did take a picture of the map, so that kind of gives us an idea of where we're going. Uh, are we 100% sure? Sure aren't. We're just winging it. If you guys haven't figured out on the YouTube channel, that's kind of the, uh, that's our, that's our motto. Just wing it. So I am tracking this on Ride Command. I am tracking it on Ride Command, as you can see there. I uh, use a ga uh, Galaxy tablet. I believe it's a 9. Uh, works great. I don't know if it's recording because it's been stuck at 2.3 miles for 29 minutes for a minute. So I hope it's uh, doing what it's supposed to, so. Okay, as far as the Pro is concerned, um, I really do like the Pro. You can hold a little bit of a faster pace as far as some of the rocks and stuff are concerned. Do I feel it's a little bit as far as like beating on the machine, especially when it really gets rough? Yes. But low on these things, I guess they are low. Now, <laughs> on the older rigs and stuff, I feel low wasn't low enough, so I'll take it. You know, I mean, it's just one of those. There's got to be a give and take someplace in the Pro R. They, it does. It crawls. You know, you put it in rock mode, throw your lockers on, and the way you go type deal. Now, the only disadvantage is, is like Dylan's, you know, he's got Brutus 2018 XP Turbo. You can, you can do 35, 40 miles an hour in low. I feel, you try doing this with the Pro R at 30, 35 miles an hour, she is just screaming. Alright, is Dylan going to take the hard line? 
looks like it. Crawled right out back. Oh, how about we four wheel drive? Uh, some locker action here. A little more, we'll bump it. Yeah, we got her. Oh, that's what I was doing. I didn't have my locker locked in, guys. I was wondering why she was hopping back and forth between tires. That was a fail. Now, this is the first rig that I've had that has lockers, so um, it's, I can already tell the difference, obviously, there's, it's just, it's a game changer when you've got a locker, you know, having all, both of those front tires doing their job, both at the same time versus a three-wheel wonder, uh, it's great. Alright, so I'm going to shut it down here, guys. If we do run into something that we feel is a little crazy, uh, we will pick you back. Well, what do we got here? Like he's going to get squared up to it a little better. Now I do got the, what are they? I think they're the Rampage Fury tires. They are stock tires, it's not on bead locks. I don't know what I'm currently running for tire pressure right now. I did have to air them down a little bit, um, but I'm very, I'm very surprised. They, they're doing pretty well on the slick rock. You know, now Dylan was concerned as well with his tires. I mean, those Tus Terabytes have got two, 3,000 miles on it. Oh, let's see what Dylan's got going on here. You want to move over a little bit? Yeah. <laughs> What's that? Oh yeah, that's good for it. Alright, he moved her over a little, see how this works. There it is. Okay, we're up at. I don't know if anybody else is familiar with the Pro R's. There is one downside about the Pro R's is their, where their tab mounts or the plate steel on the bottom of the trailing arms, they have a tendency to hook on everything that, you know, if your belly don't hit, guarantee that your trailing arms are going to, so. Feel about this one. 
Oh, I know. Uh, holy hell. I don't know if you guys can really tell, but that is steep. There's no way. Is there a waypoint? I wonder if that's they come down that. Because I don't think going up that, that second hump up there, I think you'd end up backwards. There's no way I'm coming down that. That is insane. Do we want to walk up to it and see, or just go around, just like negate the fact? We didn't see anything? Okay. All right, we're going to take a walk over there, guys, and see exactly how steep that is, because what's nuts is, as you can see, once you get up, you have to like hook it right to what's already just nuts. So, all right, we'll be back. All right, sorry about the wind, guys. It is extremely windy, but as you can see, you come down around here, uh, you come down here, and then you've got a couple weird slick rock formations up over the top. And then we've determined that you've got to drop down off that other side, because there is no way on that first spot we showed you that you are there. It's too much of an extra step. Uh, it'll it's too vertical. It'll put you over backwards. So, so somebody's gonna say, "Oh, you can do it." Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so we're going to go up, which looks like the general path or consensus of how people navigate this section, and uh, uh, we'll be back. All right, guys, so we did. We went and looked at that. It is nuts. Uh, there's no way you're getting up that one side. That's uh, that's the come down side. Um, the, even the go, go up side is just nuts. And what concerns me is either one, a lot of people don't come here, or a lot of people are just not a huge fan of this climb on the other side because there is hardly any tracks to follow going up there. There's some, but that's about it. We'll show you when we get to the other side. Okay, that is nuts, because you gotta go up this little section, ride that ridge right there, and then you can see the dashes way up on the top up there. That's where you crest up over the top. And then you gotta drop off the other side. So I think Dylan's gonna go first. some of that away um, but we'll let Dylan get down this little section here Here, so we will be back. Great job, by the way, Dylan. Yeah, you too, man. 
Nice job, buddy. Alright guys, be safe. Okay, so that is gonna do it for the end of our second video, guys. Uh, we are back here at the trailhead at Poison Spider Mesa Trailhead. And now, I got a new floor plug. And you got a what? I got a new floor plug. Yeah. Uh, spares are always good to have. So um, we ended up on the first video, we ran the Poison Spider Mesa loop, found the connecting trail that took you to where eagles dare yeah I, yeah? yeah that's, that's an, okay so we ran not all of that but we found where the more challenging obstacles were and they weren't i would say necessarily too challenging they were just you gotta have the right frame of mind for this one yeah. they're up, 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 up. yeah so that was the biggest thing is they're just they're they're so up so didn't do all of that, but we found a nasty stuff, got some awesome pictures, seen some very nice rigs out. Uh, got extremely busy towards the end of the day here. So you see in the, towards the end of this video, coming back down through some of the stuff in Poison Spider Mesa. So we're gonna end this video here, guys. We do appreciate all the support. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, mass that subscribe, hit that thumbs up, hit that notification bell. If you wanna see more content when we post. Um, as you can see, she's getting busy. And we always say, on to the next adventure. Thanks, guys.